Tom Holland recently spoke with Empire Magazine about the future of Spider-Man in the bigger Spider-Verse and what comes next. And when he was asked if he could even state anything in regards to where Spider-Man goes next, he said he can't. He has to avoid talking about that because if he reveals it, it's a big spoiler. So quite obviously, I think we all understand if Tom Holland was to come out and say, hey guys, yes, the next Spider-Man film, obviously all this is happening with the multiverse and everything, but wait till you see the next one. I'm going to be facing Venom. Well, that kind of confirms to us it's an MCU film in a weird way, right? But if he says, well, I'm going to go off and I'm going to fight Morbius and another version of the Vulture and Rhino, we go, well... He's probably leaving the MCU, right? Because again, we don't know how everything is connected, all the pieces, the puzzle and everything. So I understand why he told them he can't talk about what comes next. And he's afraid to say anything because he's afraid it's going to ruin what happens at the end of the film. And that it's a potential big spoiler for the next chapter of Spider-Man. And again, there is a piece of this puzzle that does make sense. If he was to say, oh, we're going to do Craven's Last Hunt. Well, okay, that means you're appearing in the Craven film, right? Or you're going to appear in a film after Craven has his own, and you're going to be facing Craven, which may or may not be in the MCU, because the same actor, again, we don't know. We don't know what the effects of the multiverse will be once everything is said and done with Quantumania and everything. But again, I, I kind of understand why he's reluctant to say anything, because there is so many of these moving pieces that... It could honestly change at any point. And Kevin Feige's even said, look, when it comes to the future, we have ideas. I think Tom Holland's Spider-Man is going to be around for a while, but we never know how it's going to change. It could always change at the flip of a coin because corporate execs, you know, wanting to get their own way, ownership of the character, sharing rights, money, distribution. It's always all being renegotiated and somebody's looking at the bottom line going why am i not making more and that's always what gets in the way and tom holland realistically probably doesn't even have a solid 100 percent this is guaranteed sort of mentality when it comes to the next film because he doesn't know sony could legitimately go we don't want you as spider-man anymore because they weren't the ones that wanted him as spider-man as it is they were going after one of the other people. Um, I believe it was revealed that Donald Lundgren? No, not Donald Lundgren. Why am I mixing Dolph Lundgren and some kid named Donald? Lou Lundgren? The, the kid from those Maze Runner films. He was supposed to be front runner for Sony and Marvel Studios was like, no, not, not that kid. So again, Sony could just revert, get somebody cheaper and go, we're going back to it. Back to square one. And well... Do we need another Spider-Man reboot? So I understand why Tom's being quiet. He's like, I, I don't want to, I don't want to say anything that could jeopardize my job. Logan Lur, Logan Lundgren, Logan Lur, Lerner, Lerman, whatever his name was. I'm not gonna even try. I'm not looking this up. Asa Butterfield, that's the one. He was also there. Remember all those Butterfield jokes? Those were the days. <laughs> 